What's up weirdos? Gus and I found a new villain. We are so back. When I saw these videos, I was overwhelmed by how much of a classic this is. This is a commentary video. Okay, get, get strapped in for a commentary video because I have comments on this boy. Basically, there's this woman, a girl if you will, who is a TikToker. Her name is Aquavina, my least favorite type of water bottle. <laughs> I'm an Ozarka boy. Anyways, she's a TikToker and she had a boyfriend who became kind of a TikToker, but only because he would post videos about her. Like she has 430,000 followers and him, oh, Owen has 96,000. But his followers are coming because of videos he made like this, which has 10 million views. How do you know if you're actually attractive as a girl? Okay. I'm not making this to make you mad, but I've recently started dating this girl and I've had experiences with her that I've never had before out in public, okay? So for instance, the first time we go to Chipotle together, they just give her like free guac. You get the point, you get the point. He's just talking about how his girlfriend is so beautiful and life is so great for her because she's so beautiful and she's so beautiful. And people see that and they go, oh my God, he's such a good boyfriend. I love him. I'm gonna follow him and stand their love. Or just one more example of videos like this. My girlfriend and I are on a trip to New York City and the first thing that happens when we get to the gate at the airport is the lady goes, you know, I moved your guys' seats up. You should really like them. And we're like, okay, this has never happened to me before. But we get up and we get the nicer seats with more space and cushioning and all of that. I'm like, no surprise. She just gets nice stuff all the time. Okay. I'm not gonna make you sit through that whole thing because it's like a minute long. The thing is, it's important context to know that he only has any followers and any views because he's talking about his girlfriend and he's calling her pretty. So when he goes through... <laughs> That's... Sorry, 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 sorry. That was a straw. That was a chopstick because I... I was stirring my water because I... <laughs> it's not that funny. Anyways, you would think that if your content is exclusively about your girlfriend and calling her pretty, you would think that if you broke up with that girlfriend, you would know that most of your followers are gonna stop caring about you. And maybe you would try to pivot, maybe you try to do something that's not what he did. Because what he did is post this video unprompted where he went into so much detail about their love life. And as it turns out, when we follow this story to its conclusion, he's just lying the whole time. This is what he posted. He posted this out of nowhere. The description here is saying, feel like I owe y'all to post this. I'll answer respectful comments. She's amazing. She will find the perfect person. With the update, relationship ended. Okay, here's the thing. What we are watching in this video is him trying to manipulate us. So I'm gonna go through it, but stick with me here because with the things that he is saying, just know that I will show you he is being manipulative. My girlfriend isn't on my page anymore because she's no longer my girlfriend. She's my ex and we broke up. I'm just going to be completely honest because at the end of the day, you know, it doesn't matter how much we love each other or love each other. We just aren't in my mind compatible to the point where, you know, we could live in the same room. So again, he's saying this unprompted and without his ex-girlfriend, like having any input or anything, he's just, he's just saying all this, just airing it out. And we're going to come back to this point that I'm about to make right now, but she has not been talking about their breakup. And if I'm being honest, the thing that he said right there, you could have just like said it in a comment. If anybody asked, like you don't need to make a whole thing about it, but it's fine. It's like, it's not worthy of criticism really, but watch what he continues to do. This is three minutes of him just putting all of their relationship and why it ended on like the internet. And then by the way, acting later, like he's not doing that. Okay, we'll, we'll keep going though. And it's hard to break up, you know, no one wants to break up. We'd rather it just go well, but the earlier stages of a relationship should be easier because it's gonna get harder as you go through. But the earlier stages shouldn't be full of problems. Like we shouldn't have to fight like once or twice a week. I'm okay with fighting and resolving, you know, but there's a certain point where it's like these issues are just gonna keep manifesting pretty much every week was what it felt like. Nobody asked, again, like, hey, my girlfriend and I broke up. Basically, we used to fight all the time. She used to fight with me and I used to fight with her. Which, like, does she want this information out there? Does she want people to know that they were fighting like twice a week? No, she probably wants privacy because she was never talking about it, like you are. Even just that is more detail than we already need to be knowing about why their relationship ended. And there's two more minutes of this. And it's even worse because as we'll find out in a second, she is not comfortable with him saying all this stuff online. You little loser sitting all slouched over here with your double monitor. What is that? What is that on your top left on the right hand screen? Jarvis, can we analyze that? If you know what that album cover is, comment it below and tell me if it makes sense for him to be listening to it. Let's keep going though, because he overshares even more. It doesn't matter how attractive someone is, how great someone is. If you guys aren't compatible, it's probably not best to be in that relationship. And that's just what it is at the end of the day. Now, one thing that you might not be considering here is that this video is 100% with the knowledge that his ex-girlfriend is going to be seeing this. And he's talking 
so like dismissively like you know honestly if you're fighting twice a day no matter how good you are like it's just you need to break up it's just not gonna work like he's smarter than you like he's better than you like he's talking down to her knowing that she's watching this video because you don't make a video like this publicly talking about your recent freshly ex-girlfriend without the knowledge that she's gonna be seeing it and even if she didn't see it like the way that he's talking is so like I'm better than you I'm smarter than you this is how relationships work by the way he was saying at the beginning the earliest stages of a relationship should be the easiest and if there's any problems there that's just a sign that it's never gonna work out because you're in the honeymoon phase a quick piece of relationship advice from the love doctor when you're first getting to know somebody and you're being very close and like like fully opening up to each other there's a little bit of conflict there because oh you don't know this person and now you're knowing them and like if you're living your lives together they're gonna be like some bumps in the road of like learning how to be with each other and that is what a relationship is when people say a relationship should be work constantly for the love of each other that's what they're talking about they're not saying oh well when you first get together it's really easy and then it just keeps going like that no but it is really easy if you're with somebody who you love and who loves you you know what i mean you know what i mean you know what i mean but basically i'm just saying that he came up with the young know, but let's keep going you know uh, there's no love loss it's just i come from you know both my parents had multiple divorces i've seen different relationships fail and work and the ones that work are the ones that are most harmonious that aren't fighting a lot two people that are their own individuals coming together and you know so that's what i was looking for you know i was looking for a girl who i could talk down to and I could dismiss her feelings and she would just let it slide off her back because conflict is bad and we should avoid all conflict and if there is any then that means the relationship is bad and you don't deserve love. Talking like that about that to your ex-girlfriend who I can tell by the way that he was a terrible book. By the way, I'm sorry. If this is how he is talking in a TikTok, I cannot imagine being in an argument with him where you're trying to be heard, you're trying to let your feelings be known and he's just avoiding and dismissing and minimizing like that is so annoying. I just, I can't say anything bad about her other than- I Oh, really? Interesting. I can't say anything bad about her other than this thing I'm about to say about her, which is bad. I would never say anything bad about you, Gustav. I would never. By the way, when I take Gustav to like his dog boarding, like dog resort place, they love him. Everybody goes, Gustav, Gustav. And I think it's because I gave him a silly little naughty German boy. Did I name him after my favorite composer? Did I name him after Guster from Psych? And then I just called him Gustav. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. Don't worry. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He lands on his feet like that. Long story short, me personally, I wouldn't say I have nothing bad to say about my ex-girlfriend other than like, just shut the hell up. You're two minutes in, cut it off. But let's see what the bad thing he was going to say about her is. I just don't think we're compatible. She kind of saw that her definition of love was that two people that love each other, they work through it no matter what. And my thing was, you know, it's not necessarily worth working through every problem just to have another one next week on the same time. Damn. 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 Good point, Owen. Damn. Just want to let everybody know that my girlfriend was fighting for the relationship and I basically said, I don't want you. She was basically like, yeah, love can overcome anything and these fights are nothing but bumps in the road to our long, happy, loving relationship because I love you so much, baby. And I basically said, uh, I don't really care. That's how it goes. Shut the hell up. Owen, if your definition of a relationship is people just doing what you say and living how you want them to live, you're not looking for a relationship with an independent human being. You're looking for your hand because you are a, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it. No woman deserves to be in a relationship with a man like this. Except for Casey Anthony. Why am I talking about Casey? I'm so sorry. Anyways, yeah, he goes on for another minute, but it's just the same oversharing of basically the ins and outs of what their entire relationship dynamic was and how they broke up and everything personal that he should not be airing out online, especially without her consent. Yeah, but maybe she was okay with it and I'm overreacting. Well, let's see her response video where she was not okay with it and I'm not overreacting. It's so sad to me that I even had to address this. To wish someone the best for them and to break up with him over text, and then to go on to the internet and talk more about the relationship than they ever did to me. Who? Why are you posting all of your business? I understand you're probably hurt, but saying the details and rambling won't help money. To monetize off of talking about the relationship and blaming it onto me. All this drama and that video and however you want to see it is being used so that he can profit. And he admitted it too. That's the thing, Aquavina. He admitted it. And that, <laughs> I don't know if that's your real name or your username. I think it's just your username. Imagine saying that though. Why are you doing all of this 
Money. Do you think that makes you seem cool? What's the point? Also, yeah, get a journal, dude. Like, get a diary. Write these thoughts down. Don't put it in a three-minute video on TikTok and then say it so that you'll get money. And she's being nice. Like, in the comments here, this girl says, Girl, his reasoning rang all the avoidment attachment style red flags. I hope he gets the therapy he needs, lol. And then she responds to that and goes, We both need help and I hope we will be better for others. Smiley face. I think it's about taking accountability and hoping for peace. See, that's what a mature, nice human person does. The fact that he broke up with her over text, the fact that he did didn't talk to her about all of these things. And the fact that he's then going to TikTok to talk about it for money. You can understand why this blew up and everybody started making fun of this guy and calling him out and basically saying that he's a loser for doing this. Cause he is, he is a loser. He's a little loser. So that's where the oversharing is. But what about the gaslighting? Well, he responded to this video. She's saying that I posted for money. I did post that video for money. I don't see the harm in doing that. The way he's talking right now, Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Watching her talking and doing the little that's cute. That's cute. Yeah. Oh, this is the point that you're making in that video? Well, I'm about to destroy you. Like, yeah. That's the attitude he's making? Dude, what are you doing? Like, this is so icky. Icky, icky in the way that icky is icky. But keep going, young man. Maybe you have a point. He doesn't. I gain followers. I gain money from doing so. She did the same thing, but she did it before me. Like, this is her crying for a minute for money. Oh my god. He said the money thing because he saw that she had already done this. So this is some big gotcha. Oh my gosh. That's why he's going like this because he planned this all along. Let's go see the video that he's talking about where she posted it for money, crying about their relationship. Let's go see that video. And exactly what's happening to you right now. Okay, so she's not crying. So the video is her drawing. She's a very talented artist and sitting with her cat with the caption, when you're back at, everything happens for a reason again. Now, it's interesting because to me, that's a little bit different than making a three minute video where you talk about the inner workings of your relationship and why you broke up, where you talk dismissingly demeaningly and rudely to the camera, knowing that your ex-girlfriend is watching it. In my mind, this is a little bit different, but she did this for money, right? No, she is just a human person who makes videos about her life and was going through a breakup and posted in a way that's not at all exposing you or your dirty laundry. You absolutely, okay, but he keeps going, he keeps going. I, if you can believe it, the madness does not stop. You can see it's a minute and one second long so that it qualifies for the creativity program beta. And she posted that a day before me. Oh my God, bro. Oh, that's such a good point. She posted a TikTok and she wanted to get some money from it. Yeah, yeah. But was her video her talking about why you broke up, what went wrong, everything about who you both are as people? And was she talking into the camera knowing you're watching it, making you feel small and pathetic? No, but that's what you did. Yeah, that's interesting, that's interesting. Also, FYI, the this video, girl Pretty Girls Be Lonely, one minute, four seconds. Things that happen to pretty girls, one minute, one second. Things that happen to pretty girls while traveling, one minute, one second. Which almost makes you wonder if his mindset, when he sees her posting a minute and one second is, oh, this video is only to make money. This video isn't actually you processing anything, it's just to make money. That tells you a little bit more about how his mind works and makes you think that maybe he was only making these videos about his girlfriend because he wanted to make money. He is a loser. I'm sorry. He is a loser. But back to his gaslighting. Here's another one she posted. Get ready with me post breakup. Another one she posted over a minute long monetizing off the breakup. Okay, so let's check those videos real quick because he's saying that she is making videos just like he made monetizing off the breakup. First of all, get ready with me recovering from a breakup. When you start seeing someone, try to understand and find out what their definition of love is. Nothing easy is good and nothing good is easy. Don't let someone tell you more than once that they don't want to be with you. That's what the entire video is. It's just her giving just general advice about relationships. Not talking about her and Owen's relationship, why her and Owen broke up. Not mining that in a way that would make him uncomfortable. She's talking very specifically, exclusively about her experience and things that she has learned. And even if it reflects a little bit on Owen, it is in no way comparable to making a three minute video where you're literally talking about your ex-girlfriend saying that she was fighting for the relationship and you just didn't want to be with her anymore. Among two and a half minutes of other things. Like this is completely different and it's so dishonest to act like she did it before or you did it, so you can't be the bad guy, you loser. But what about this one? Everything that I've been going through and dealing with, my mom wanted to help me out and give me some NyQuil last night to, you know, help me sleep and get through. What if I told you that that was the only part of the video where she alludes to him? Would you believe me? Well, it's true. All she said was, everything that I've been going through, that's it. Now, Owen saw that and he thought, uh, that's the exact same as me going into excruciating detail about a very painful thing while talking diminishingly to my ex-girlfriend through TikTok. Yeah, 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 that's the same thing. She 
She just talks about a story with her mom. They're that powerful that even NyQuil has... <laughs> and it's just a story about her mom. And the only really reference is like everything that I've been going through. And he acted like that was crossing the line. So it totally justifies what he did. And then here's the final one she posted. 251, monetizing off the breakup. And she posted two of those before I posted one. So... I can't post a video to monetize a bad situation that happened in my life breaking up, but you can. I'm still not going to get into why we broke up because I think it would be disrespectful to get into the details. I made my original video. I did not get into the details. That's gaslighting right there because he uh, did get into the details. No, I didn't get into the details because I didn't talk about explicitly what every single fight we were getting into over the course of two times a week for our entire relationship. I didn't talk about all of the fight so it's not like i got into the details i just told everybody explicitly what our relationship was like when it was breaking up and how you were fighting for it and i wasn't and i acted like i'm on the higher ground because of this yeah, yeah, yeah there's nothing wrong with that are you serious that's what you're saying that's stupid i sounded stupid when i said that and i was saying what you are saying owen imagine if i talk like that by the way this is why you are not a successful tiktoker because you the way you talk is such an indication of who you are am i right girls am i right lesbians in pennsylvania tell me if i'm wrong but i swear to God, I'm right. Because he's talking like this and it makes you feel like this is how he talks in a relationship and if you would just listen to me, babe, you would understand that you're wrong and I'm right. Does that give anybody flashbacks to a bad relationship? Because that's what he was. A bad relationship for her. Got it. Bad boyfriend. That's what he was. This goes on for another two and a half minutes. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I want to give you some more highlights. You know, I posted her all over social media all the time and told her how pretty she was. Just trying to hype her up and make her feel better. I was posting my girlfriend online all the time saying that she's so pretty just to hype her up, just to make her feel better. Because it's not true. That's kind of the underlying message right there, by the way. But this is what gaslighters do. They're like, no, I didn't mean that. I was just saying that I didn't mean that at all. No, no, no. You're sneaking in little disses there and giving yourself a little bit of wiggle room so you can act like that's not what you meant. No, Owen, you are such a good boyfriend because you posted all over the internet how pretty your girlfriend is, by the way, for money, and by the way, just to make her feel better, just to hype her up, uh, not because you meant it, not because you really thought it. And he was making one minute, one second long videos hyping her up because as he mentioned before, that's the only way you can really get paid on TikTok now. So not only is he a gaslighting manipulative liar, he's also really, really, I don't wanna say dumb, but <laughs> check out this next little part. It makes him look so cool. I don't know, but it's just not with me. I know what I want and we dated for four months to figure that out. Like that's okay. Doing this, that's okay. We dated and I know what I want and it's not you. Owen, by the way, I am obsessed with this vibe you give off. Your personality, it's just so good. I look at you and I go, oh, you're a person I'd want to be friends with and you're somebody I would definitely want my friends to date. Yeah, 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 you're so cool, Owen. You're so cool the way that you go like this. I just don't want you. You'll be fine. I just know I don't want you. That's so sick, Owen. Ooh, ooh, there's there's something there's something about something about Owen ten. Like if he's had ten relationships and they've never worked out, then he's Owen ten in relationships. <laughs> like like how in sports that's the records. By the way, no, not I can't talk about the Kansas City Chiefs. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm just so happy we beat the Bills in the division. I'll talk about that later. Nobody cares. Okay. Anyways, this video I would say was not well received. <laughs> it was so not well received that he posted this apology video. And trust me, in my opinion, this is up there with Colleen's. I know, I know. It, it's a high, it's a high bar, but this is up there with the toxic gossip train. I put a little bit too much soul in it because I have a little bit more soul than Colleen. Damn! Got her! Damn! Imagine if Ninja got a low taper fade. I can't sing, but have you guys seen that? Anyways, Toxic Gossip Train, Owen's version. <laughs> Hi everyone. I wanted to make an apology video for the things that have been happening on social media regarding my past relationship, except I'm not sorry for the two videos that I made. I think they're well done, they were respectful, there's nothing wrong with them, so they're gonna stay up. Instead, I'm gonna take this time to read to you guys some scripture. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dude, you are pathetic. What are you doing? Hey guys, I wanted to come on here and make an apology, except I'm not sorry. Instead, I'm gonna read y'all a little bit from the Bible. Hey, maybe Owen, you should have a little bit of self-reflection and think that maybe the tone of voice and your entire personality and your entire outlook on life and the videos that you made, maybe when they receive detailed, explicit criticism that actually makes sense, you should self-reflect a little bit 
take a step back and apologize to her personally and then publicly say something. Maybe you should do that. Not come on here and read the Bible for you. Check this next thing he says out though, because it's, oh my God. Chef's kiss for how bad this is. You guys can fight in the comments, drive up my engagement rate. It helps me out, I appreciate that. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm just gonna read you scripture because you probably haven't heard much of it before. Let's start in the camera angle, bro, is gunning for a youth pastor job at your local horrible non-denominational church. Hey guys, let's start in Ephesians 4.17. Now, a little bit of background on Ephesians. It was written to the church of Ephesus by Paul, and what was going on in Ephesus was absolute debauchery. Yes, I know the scripture better than you, Owen. And you know what Jesus said in the scripture? Not to treat your girlfriend like she's a little speck of mud pie. Actually, I think I know the scripture a little bit more than you, genius. You know that, uh, the American girl you mean? I think That's literally how I feel when I see somebody going on here because I'm Rhett McLaughlin. If I'm not Rhett McLaughlin, I don't know who I am. You want to know my story? Look up Rhett. Okay, that's it. Don't talk to me about you guys probably haven't read scripture. If you'd read the Bible, you would know it's okay to treat your girlfriend like a little bit of poop. The Bible actually says you should not respect your spouse at all. And hey, guess what? If you're reading the Bible and you're seeing that it says don't respect your girlfriend, you know what you should do? Ignore that part because that's your mind thinking. By the way, I have friends who are like Christians and I'm friends with them. You know why? Because they don't act like you, Owen. I would never be friends with somebody like you, Owen. My friends who are Christian love their wives and girlfriends. Love them. And if they broke up, they wouldn't even go online and make demeaning videos where they try to humiliate their ex-partner and get money out of it and then blame it all on her. They wouldn't overshare and then gaslight, manipulate, and exploit you. The, the, the ex. You know what I mean, Owen? So before you come at me with Ephesians 4.17, how about you listen to Ephesians 5.25? Read a little bit more, Owen. Husbands, love your wife wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Huh? It's saying husbands sacrificially love your wives. Love your wives to the point where you would give up everything for her. If you'd read a little bit more into Ephesians, Owen, maybe you would have done that. So you should sit your white ass down and listen at Sunday school next time because Pastor Coop is in session. Oh Lord, come on Holy Spirit, come on now. You're going to manipulate Ephesians in front of me? You're going to bring a demon out of me, boy, a demon. Anyways, long story short, Paul who wrote Ephesians and a lot of other books of the Bible was an interesting man who had a very complicated relationship with women and would flip-flop between you should give everything to your wife and if you can, you should try to live without a wife and dedicate everything because, and, I, and I'm guessing at some point, he got his heart broken and decided, oh no, actually, husbands shouldn't look for their wives. Husbands should look to be single and play with the boys because again, the Bible was written by human beings and you should look at things in context. Don't come at me, Owen. Don't come at me. Ugh, long story short, fucking sucks. And she dodged a bullet and she dodged a real bad one, so. Shout out Aquavina, whisper in Owen, because that's the opposite of shout out. I'm gonna whisper in you, Owen. Ew, 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 God. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe despite that last sentence, God. Anyways, Cole Beasley, retired Buffalo Bill said, what's up with all these dudes painting their nails nowadays? That ain't it. So give me some recommendations of what colors to get my nails painted by Sophia next because there's nothing that makes me feel better than making Cole Beasley feel bad. Cole Beasley still rooting for the Buffalo Bills while they go 0-3 against the Chiefs, get dominated every single time, get Millie Wap. but hey, I'm happy you got some regular season wins against Patrick Mahomes. That's your Super Bowl, you and Nick Sirianni. Bye-bye!